Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell and today we're going to be discussing one of Taylor Swift's exes who can't seem to escape her music, or maybe he can, and the surprise lyric that Taylor Swift dropped in honor of the solar eclipse. Let's get into today's show. Okay, so if you missed it earlier this week, Calvin Harris's wife, his current wife, Vic Hope, revealed on radio to everybody (laughs) that she does listen to Taylor Swift, but she waits until her husband leaves to do so. So this is what happened in case you missed it. So Vic Hope is a radio personality in the UK and she has a radio show on BBC radio called Going Home with Vic, Katie, and Jamie. And on the show this week, they were taking listener uh, questions. And one of the, I think, prompts was, what do you do when your partner is out of the house? Like, what what are some things you get up to when your partner's gone? They were kind of discussing different things that um, fans had written written in and Vic then proceeds to reveal after some like back and forth of like, should I share this? Should I not share this? She reveals that the second Calvin hits the road, she puts on some Taylor Swift. This is what she said, her exact quote. As soon as my husband goes away, I listen to Taylor Swift. That's just when I get my little fill, just a little fill. Um, and, And then she adds just a couple of songs, get it out of my system and then it's done, which is hilarious one that, I mean, listen, Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris dated a long time ago. At this point, they've been broken up now for eight years, I think almost exactly, which is, I mean, it feels not that long ago on one hand, but also that's a that's a considerable amount of time. Though they they were together for, I think like 15 months. I mean, that's not super long, but that's a pretty long relationship. Uh, It was also, just as a side note, one of my favorite Taylor Swift eras was when she was dating Calvin Harris and she had her short hair when she went to Coachella and she bleached it. That was one of my favorite times um, just of like Taylor Swift's sort of looks and and all that stuff. I just thought she looked amazing in that era. but they've both moved on. They've both had other relationships. Like, I don't think they're spending a lot of time thinking about that period of their life or wondering what if, or I don't even think they have a lot of bad, well, they, they, Calvin might have a little bit of resentment towards Taylor, but it is funny that his wife is like, sorry, I know you dated her and maybe things didn't end super well, but I still have to listen to her, but I'll, I will wait for you to leave to do so, um, which is funny. And also I can't imagine like if you are a big Taylor Swift fan and you're dating or married to one of her exes and you can't just like fully play the music all the time. Like she probably has to remove Taylor Swift from like her Spotify so that it doesn't just come on while they're together. You know, it it would be very, very, very hard to escape the music of Taylor Swift. Um, So I 100% understand and honestly respect the fact that she still lets herself have fun with it, listen to it. I wonder what her favorite songs are. Um, The truth is, Taylor didn't really write very much music about Calvin Harris. Like if you go through her discography, 1989, which is the time that she was dating him, is an album mostly about Harry Styles. And then she skips to Reputation, which is honestly more an album about like Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and then falling in love with Joe Alwyn. Like she kind of skips over the Calvin Harris portion of her life. So I feel like for his wife, she can listen to the music without feeling like, oh no, this is a song about Calvin Harris. Cause most of them like honestly are not about Calvin Harris, which is fine. Um, okay. And then the next piece of news in honor of the eclipse this week, Taylor, uh, and, and also I, I should say, because it was 13 days until the release of the torture poets department, Taylor shared a quick little lyric from her new album, which kind of gave a nod to the eclipse. So she took to her Instagram story on Monday to basically tell people that you can now pre-order the album if you want to, which is exciting. And then also shared a little picture of um, a lyric from the album, which says, crowd goes wild at her fingertips, half moonshine, full eclipse. I, there's not much that I can really take away from that line. Um, it's interesting. Crowd goes wild. I have to imagine she's talking about herself in that line. 
Um, half moonshine, full eclipse. I wonder if that's something about like someone's blocking her shine, perhaps. S a certain someone is blocking her shine. We need more context to fully understand the lyric, but it is interesting. I mean, I'll take any little nugget of what the album is going to be like or any, any. I'll, I, I will take anything at this point. I am so desperate for the album to come out. I'm like counting down the days, hours, minutes, seconds. I appreciate the fact that she doesn't give us anything until the album comes out, but I do, I think I've, I've said this in a past video, I do miss the days when she would put out like three or four songs in anticipation of the album coming out. She hasn't done that, I think, since Lover, I wanna say. Um, so it's been a while, but I like, I, I, I enjoy the fact that I'm gonna go into the album not knowing anything, but also I'm like, oh my God, this is the longest, I feel like it's taking so long to get to the album release and I just want it to be here right now. So that's it for your news, your Taylor Swift news of the day. Um, if you like listening about or hearing about Taylor Swift news, about rankings, all that good stuff, again, we are just, we're so close to the release of, of her new album, which means we're gonna have so much to break down, so much content to discuss. So if you're a Taylor Swift fan, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.